Welcome back to Guardians Reborn. Today we will be looking at a card highlight from the Traveler's Guide to the Mid-Realms book. We are looking at Mist Veiler, which is a medium creature, Vitality 10, with, that can be bribed by beer. We are looking at the Roaming Steam Geyser, medium creature, Vitality 6. And we're also looking at the Roving Force Inferno, medium-sized creature, with a Vitality of 12. The element that ties these three together are there are no secondary attackers allowed against any of these three cards. What's nice is you can use fun combos to go along with this to really mess with your opponent. First up would be to use the popular Jin and Embryonic Witch combo. Jin is a ranged attacker and he forces a push and no further modifications are allowed which means your opponent is not allowed to channel, and they're not allowed to do their own ranged attacks, and they're just going to sit there as a push is forced on this matchup. With Embryonic Witch, you win all pushes in matchups. So if your opponent plays like a Dragon Wing Lord or something huge, you force the push and you win that combat. Your opponent has nothing they can do about it. The only thing is, the Jin becomes a target for secondary attackers, as does your Embryonic Witch. Your Mist Veiler is safe from secondary attackers, but these two get huge targets put on them after that. So you might want to be careful using that combo. Another thing to use would be a Power Lunch. Power Lunch states, when played during combat, any one creature may receive channeling for one matchup. So your Guardian can has a CMP of anywhere from 6 to 9, and you can add that to your creatures. So you see you have a 12 here for the Roving Force Inferno. So you add a 9, you're sitting at a 21. You have your Mist Veiler as a 10. Add a 9, you got 19. And your Roaming Steam Geyser is a 6. The most he would be able to accept would be 6, but that still gives you a 12, which is a reasonable number to be looking at. So a Fistful of Power Lunches is always nice, and Dispel Magic is also a must in any deck. And Dispel Magic negates any spell, item, or command card effect, but not channeling. The reason we want to keep one of these on hand is if we're going to be playing with Mist Veiler, say, he can be bribed by beer. The Dispel Magic can get rid of the any beer briberies that your opponent may play. A fun shield to have was seriously just have three Mist Veilers uh, under a shield. Have a fistful of Power Lunches, a couple Dispel Magics if you want for backup and let them start sweeping up the disputed land spaces because your opponent will be playing their big creatures first or they'll be playing an idiot first or something and you just take them out with the Mist Veiler and anything that they have left over in their combat hand, the Vitality does get counted for control of the space, but they've most likely played their larger creatures first and you can just start whittling down shields this way, chasing them across the board you're not going to get a Guardian kill with this. You're not going to be taking over large shields amounts with this. You will be taking up the disputed land spaces with this. So that means you, know, you only need the three spaces in front of your opponent's stronghold in order to win the game. If you get three Mist Veilers and some Power Lunches over there, there's not much your opponent's going to be able to do outside of sit there and watch you gobble up spaces unless they can hurry up and run behind you and fill in those terrain spaces. This is a really mean and nasty combo to do, and I hope somebody finds a way to abuse it. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful night.